Well, it's so great to have the owner of Modern Mississauga Media. Jay Canna is here. He puts this thing together. How many times a, a year do you put out an issue? Six times a year. Six magazines per year. And, yeah. and uh, you're the guy. You're doing it. I am the guy. And yes, I'm doing it. But I've got a fantastic team that I would be nowhere without. It's like. a pretty impressive little magazine. I mean, it's, well, we've you. got the, the, the winter edition, the holiday edition. Yep. Um, the, the new one is coming out very soon. A couple of weeks. In just a couple of weeks. Yeah. So you're working hard on that right now. Right. Glossy paper. It looks really, really sweet. Well, thank you very much. This is now your, you're going into your third year, are you? I am. December 1st, 2017 was the two-year mark. And there was that ridiculous number where like 95 or 99, or some high number of percentages of businesses fail in their first two years. So my plan was, you know, get through the first two years, even if it means working 25 hours a day, eight days a week, you have to do it, all right? You can't just, you know, coast and go, oh, I think I should be maybe okay. And here you are, you're, here you're at that turning point now. The, the hard work starts now. Oh uh, no, so, the but hard work starts now? It's what I signed up for and again, I've got a fantastic team behind me. I've got the support of the, uh, of the community and it's been wonderful. Well, why is it important for, <coughs> this one specifically Mississauga, but why is it important for there to be the local media magazines like this? Because we know a lot of places have been shut down all across Canada, certainly in Ontario, but I know it's happening everywhere. It's important because there's so many crucial stories to tell you know whether it's the upcoming musician who's you know a rock star in his own basement but needs to have a little bit of exposure for his songwriting or the entrepreneur who walked away from a six-figure salary and you know on bay street to open up a bakery for example in mississauga or you know any kind of small and fun and inspiring local story needs to be told somewhere and with so much happening with the change of the media landscape. And as you were saying, places are shutting down left, right, and center. Um, I'm not trying to change the world. I'm not trying to revolutionize the magazine industry or the media world. I just want to put a nice set of rims on it and highlight all the good things in the community. I love your auto reference because you Thanks. you do uh, reviews on cars in yeah, every issue, don't you? I do. And it's, you know, I, transit's making headways, but we're still a few years away from that. New cars are bigger and better and faster and full of technology. And I think when they come out with fully autonomous cars, I won't really have much of an auto industry aspect to do because how do you review a self-driving car? Yeah. This car feels good. That's it. The seat warmer works really well. The radio works fantastically. The radio works well. How does it drive? <laughs> hmm, I don't know. I'm I, not driving. I got a good nap. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is going to be weird, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know, it was weird when we went from horse and carriage to car and when seatbelts became mandatory. And it's, it's evolution. Do you have a sense, based on what you know about the auto, auto industry, do you have a sense of when that's finally going to happen, when virtually all of our cars will be automated? I'm going to say 50 years. Okay. Yeah, it's great that there's a lot of things happening now and Tesla's doing stuff and Ford and other manufacturers, but until we can get the, an entire city, community, country, continent doing it, it's not going to fly because you can't have a thousand physical drivers like you and I and a thousand autonomous drivers, or sorry, autonomous cars. Just you can't share a brain that way. It has to be all or none. Gotcha. So. All right, so we can look forward to more op-ed pieces like that there you go. on cars and the car uh, industry. <laughs> uh, for your new issue, new year, uh, you know, spring's just around the corner. Mm -hmm. What sorts of things can we look forward to in the next issue? Uh, more entrepreneur profiles, artist profiles. Uh, there's a big election coming up in Mississauga, uh, October, I believe. Um, I'm not fully political. There are people that are far smarter than me and produce a better product than me politically. Um, but it's still, you know, part of our city, part of our landscape. So we'll do a little bit of coverage on that. You know, get some highlights of each one of the candidates and all the wards. Um, spring cleaning things, uh, vacation uh, destinations, food and drink is huge in the city. We have so many awesome restaurants. And yeah. at the same time, we have awesome cooks and chefs. So it's kind of that perfect balance. So, you know, if we were to go out, it could be let's go to you know, ABC restaurant, like, oh, you know, I found this recipe online, let's try that. And it's for friends or couples or, you know, like first date night, you know, you don't have to go out, you can just... And you can tell us where the stores are in my area where I can buy those ingredients. Exactly. Love that. Are you looking for a job? Well, yeah. <laughs>
Where do I buy the magazine? Where can I find it? Oh, it's free. Stop it. It is. Really? That's yeah. amazing. Thanks. It's like there's so much out there um, that does cost. Um, it's, it's, it's easier for me to offer a free uh, product and get it in more hands as possible. And I bet you've got terrific sponsors that help you do that, right? My advertising partners are phenomenally, remarkably, amazingly wonderful. I love them. They're awesome. Just to go back to your question, which I think I accidentally alluded. Um, so I'm in all 18 city libraries. I'm mailed out through Canada Post. I'm in TD banks and bakeries and waiting rooms. I'm online for free as well. So if you don't get your hands on a physical copy, there's a digital copy you can get as well. What if we have a story idea? Can, Email we, can me. we contact you? Absolutely. Yeah? Jay at modernmississauga.com or info at modernmississauga.com or Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or YouTube. Everything the kids are on these days. It's always days. great when content comes to you, right? It is. Because it's, you know, it's me that does the selling, um, which is fine. But in the beginning, I was doing all the selling and all the writing and all the everythings. So you can't have a magazine without content. You can't have a magazine without advertising sales. So thankfully, my team now is good and great. But I'm always looking for more, um, more content from different voices, different topics. Totally. Yeah. Once again, the way to contact you is? Jay at modernmississauga.com or on the actual website, modernmississauga.com. And we can grab your magazine almost anywhere. Almost like City TV. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Val.